Hi folks, uh, this is Ritesh Manchanda, Design Jockey at Gamertag Radio and welcome everyone to yet another lesson of the Unreal Editor Gears 4. Today we're going to be learning a lot of exciting things. Um, we're going to be working with uh, Additive World and doing lots of fun stuff. So let me just give you an overview of what this level is. Basically I set up a really experimental level for me to um, just go and you know try new things uh, just play around you know so I just roughly put together a level and um, started adding a lot of stuff in there and started uh, trying different scripting as you can see I have some um, AI scripting etc going here going on in here and I have different enemies spawning um, in different spawn points and on different events and then I have a trigger um, to cheat I have a cheat setup so if I walk onto the trigger it kills all my enemies so um, lots of fun stuff um, oh an error just the Windows Vista error um, permissions issue okay anyway so um, back to the overview um, here you can see lots of static meshes um, these meshes are called static meshes basically um, objects imported into the editor from an external application and uh, made into a package uh, along with all the textures etc um, then I have lots of um, places to take cover like these uh, sandbags, the cement concrete blocks, dumpsters here. Um, so um, then I have an emergence hole here. Then uh, these apples that you see all around. Uh, let me see. Well, this is what I just set up just, just for fun. These apples up, up on top. These are all spawn points and path nodes for your enemies to follow. So um, when an AI sees, ooh, an apple, let me go grab it. Basically, that's the idea. And um, basically, if you press P, you'll see um, how the AI cal calculates where to go and um, what to do. So basically, um, it follows the apples and, and a lot of other stuff like cover system, um, ammo pickup, a weapon pickup, etc so um, basically that th those things are um, references for the AI actors to tell them where to go and be intelligent or at least try to be intelligent so um, okay going back to covers cover system we have different kinds of cover here um, set up on each um, cover mesh static mesh then we have some ammo Laying around, um, then we have some spawn points for weapons, um, spawn point for enemies, and destructible pro exploding propane tanks. More ammo. Uh, that's a sniper rifle I set up there, um, and um, that's a trigger where I walk over and all the enemy enemies just die. And that's my spawn point right there, player start, as you know. So um, that's a brief overview. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start with an empty world. Uh, and no, we're not going to build the whole thing because uh, that's just going to take forever. Um, and I don't want to go overboard with my video. So um, in this video, um, I'll just show you uh, what we'll do is I'll show you how to add, start and add your own ground in an additive world and then I have a file set up here uh, where I can where I deleted some parts of my level so if you can see there's no sky dome I'll show you how to put the sky dome in then I removed um, the sandbags we'll put in the sandbags and the cover links and then um, the emergence hole of course then also we have a lamp, a lighting lamp that we put in along with the actual light that illuminates it. 
we'll put that in as well along with a propane tank here so um, lots of fun stuff and without in any delay let's right, get started so let's go click on file new and create an additive uh, level and let's go and right click on the cube to bring up these options and enter the size of our geometry 2048 2048 and let's do let's say about 30 to, uh, which is the thickness of the ground and that'll um, change our brush and now we can go ahead and build the ge geometry using the CSG add button or we can use the shortcut control A and as we do that you can see the difference in the geometry and you can see that we cannot see the grid anymore so that means the geometry is in there and now we're gonna go ahead and add the light in there which you can um, go add by right clicking add actor and add point light or you can press L on the keyboard and left mouse button to create the light so um, this creates um, a nice ground for us to walk uh, when we go inside the game and that's our light and while we're at it let's go ahead and add some textures um, to the ground so I'm gonna open up the generic browser window using that button or we can go ahead and open it from this location uh, and I just prefer using the thumbnail button it's easier so here's the generic browser and I'm going to turn off static meshes and turn on material because we want materials to show up and let's see what we have here already loaded up packages uh, a big part is knowing what's where so uh, we're just gonna see if we can find something interesting if not we'll go ahead and open up a package to import some textures uh, or materials rather so um, let's see here let's just go open up a package um, which is under cooked PC uh, environments and let's load up Ephra package number 8 and oh we've got some good materials to work with so um, that's a list of materials and we're gonna select one that you want to apply and then actually select your mesh first the face and then click on the material which you want to apply to the mesh and that's how you apply um, materials to the faces or the, the, the BSP geometry in the game now if you were to um, change or scale the tiling or um, scale the texture uh, we will need to edit the properties uh, which we can do by um, oh, there are two ways to get around it uh, I use the F4 key uh, oh, actually it's the F5 key and that brings up the surface properties uh, which is right under view surface properties but um, I can't seem to find it in the video <laughs> but I do see it in the narration part but anyway uh, so we open up the surface properties and uh, basically in here we can do different things uh, with the texture pan it uh, horizontally vertically scale it and rotate it so uh, if we wanted to pan it we could use um, 
one of these buttons um, for you or we to uh, pan them across or um, and this comes handy when we are trying to line up the corners when, he, when we have uh, meshes in the corner it's easier to move the textures around and line them up so um, let's try mo moving it by four units so that's um, how you move the texture and you can use any of the um, unit buttons to move those units and uh, we can scale the textures using the simple scaling here uh, and let's try one well it's already at one so let's try two um, and see how that scales the texture um, and basically depending on what your level is like and um, what what you want to do and how big you want the tiles to show up um, you just basically use your judgment and um, scale it depending on your level and um, so that's how you uh, set the scaling up for the, the geometry and with that I'd like to conclude this um, video and um, just go briefly into the next uh, into what we're going to be doing in the next video so let's open up um, the level experimental level that I have here and in the next video we're going to be um, doing all the fun stuff um, inside of this level so um, don't forget to watch out for the next video at gamertag radio dot com and this is design jockey signing out